Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create a style sheet for a table in Dreamweaver. Uh, so if I just go through the first part of this question, it says that your style sheet is going to be attached to each web page and all the color codes must be in hexadecimal. So even though we have this in the style sheet, the color names, you've got to convert them into hexadecimal codes. So I'll just go ahead and start off the style sheet and work through each bullet point in turn. So I've already attached my source files folder. So all I need to do now to create my style sheet is click on CSS here. So create new CSS. And then that will open um, my style sheet so I can start putting in my codes. Uh, as you know, there are multiple ways of doing this. I'm just going to do this in the quickest way I think that there is. If you're not sure about using the correct brackets and making sure there's semicolons, then using the wizard is probably going to be the easier method for you. If you're confident that you're going to use the right brackets and everything, then type it, it's the best method for you. It's really up to you. In this example, I'm using the wizard. So if we go back to the question, it says set the style sheet so that each table, table being the most important thing here. So basically, this is indicating that all of these styles here are going to be styles for a table. As you know, uh, styles for a table have two tags, one which is the table tag, which deals with all of the external parts of the table, and one called TD tag, which deals with all of the internal parts of the table and the cell parts of the table. So I'm just going to work through uh, each of these bullet points in turn, like I said. So the background colour affects the whole table so that will go into the table tag so I'll start with the table tag so I'm just going to click where we've got CSS styles this little window here is quite useful because it provides a few shortcuts for you so this is to put in a new rule so I click on that and that will open up this window which you can also get by going to format CSS styles and new but that's just a quicker way so then we're going to click on tag you're always creating tags you must remember to select tag from the drop down here and then I'm going to type in the type of tag that I want to create which is table and press ok so it's asking for the background color so I'll go to background and put the color in which is yellow Remember, you need to convert your color into hexadecimal. So I'll just do that again, just so you can see in case it was a bit quick. So I've typed the color name in, then I need to click in this square where the color is and make sure my pipette is touching the color and then it will convert that to a hexadecimal. Okay, so we've done that one. The next thing it's asking for is that the width of the table is 80%. So I'll just do that. So you need to go into box and you'll find width 80 and then you can change the units to percent. Okay. And it says you should have navy blue solid borders. There are two things you need to do here. Set the color of your border and set the style of the border. So navy blue is one thing. Solid is the other thing that you need to do so you must remember when you're reading the question that there might be more than one thing you have to do in each bullet point so i'm just going to go into border i'll set the color first navy blue remember with css your color should not have spaces if you find like with this one for example it's telling me that it doesn't recognize the color name I'm just going to put navy in and see if that if it accepts it. So you have to do a little bit of problem solving. That is actually the correct colour because it's a very dark shade of blue. So if I just click again and convert that. And then it asks for the style to be solid. So I can select from the drop down if you prefer or just type solid. If you're asked for different styles for different sections of the border, you would untick this. That would allow you to change them according to what section. But we want the same for all because we've not been told they're different. So that's then done as well. Collapse borders is a bit unique in that we can only do that 
in the style sheet typing it we can't use the wizard so we'll do as much as we can in the wizard and then we'll leave collapsing in the uh in the, to type onto the style sheet external borders of two, four pixels so external should be in the table tag okay anything external is in the table tag so again i'm just going to go into my width border width and it's four pixels for that that's it for the table tag so if i just press apply okay so i need to add my collapsing of border to the table so if i just go after this semicolon and press enter it will then bring up my drop down here so it's border collapse which is here and collapse and remember to put a semicolon there so that's my table just obviously make sure you go back in and check that you've done that so i've collapsed my border collapsing of borders is a bit of a unique attribute in that once you've collapsed the border in the whole in the table it will apply collapsing to the whole table the internal and external parts of the table so you only need to put it in the table tag you don't need to put that in td whereas the other parts such as the border styles and colors have to go in both so border collapse only goes in table the rest goes in both all right so now i'm ready to put in my next tag now i've pressed enter so what's happened here is it's refreshed uh, sorry it's gone back to the original view of css styles so i just need to press refresh and then that will allow me to then select new css rule and this time it's obviously it's a tag as you know it should be td because we're doing the internal parts of the table this time so i'll just have a look at what we need to do here so the internal grid lines are two pixels so that's a border width basically again so if i go to border width two the color should also be applied here so we need to put the same color in okay so it should be navy and convert it to hexadecimal it should also be solid it says in the question it says just borders it doesn't actually tell you whether that's internal or external so you must make sure you put that in both like i said collapsed is the only thing that only goes in the table everything else goes in both we need to then put in the cell padding for the top and bottom of 10 pixels and left and right of 20. so again i need to go into box and here's padding so we need to put different bits in for different sections of our um, border so i need to sorry of the cell so i need to untick this and top and bottom 10. left and right 20. okay so we've done those the last thing we have to do is um center align the text in cells it says the word cell whenever you see the word cell you basically have to make sure that that part of your style sheet is in the td tag because the td tag basically means cell so we're going to align the text center aligned in our td tag so i'll go back and i need to now go into block and text align center and that's it and then just apply that and okay so that is my style sheet for my table i'm going to go ahead and just do these other few bits so it says add the text style sheet for table styles to your style sheet as a comment so i'll just go ahead and do that i'm going to put it on row 19 here and remember you have to click on this icon to apply a comment apply a html comment and then i will just paste that text in it also says that you need to put your details in as a comment as well so i'll do that as well uh, i'll just put name just type name in there and that is it so then the last thing that you would have to do is stay, save your style sheet with this particular name n14 table so you just go file save as and it will automatically give you your source files folder remember to put the the .css at the end 
and save. So that's your completed style sheet.